<clears throat> all right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Habakakwadash. I'm going to give double honors to Apostle Tahar and other elders and apostles that are in the spirit, whose labors we have entered into. <clears throat> this is Aksham Garden. As you can see, the lesson is titled, The Righteous Will Not Famish, right? We're coming into some uh, very tribulous times, man, you know, out here in Pennsylvania, well, Salaki in Philadelphia, which is in Pennsylvania, uh, they're about to add some restrictions to these, uh, you know, uh, restaurants and whatnot. And, you know, that's only the beginning of the restrictions uh, for that shot that, you know, that they're requiring uh, people to get in order for you to actually go inside these grocery stores, locking out grocery stores. That's coming, though. That's coming. But in order for you to enter into these restaurants, you need to be uh, jabbed up. <clears throat> so we see the men, you know, these doubles are, you know, uh, moving, moving their plan along. Now, of course, we understand that that's, you know, only uh, from the Heavenly Father. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and grab this real quick. Um, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of uh, Ha'adawan as the rivers of water. He turneth it with weather. He will. So, I mean, these devils, you know, putting these different mandates and these different legislation, legislative laws and placing these restrictions is all it's all due to the Heavenly Father. Right. <clears throat> you know, because once that happens and, 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 you know, and they place restrictions on grocery stores, you know, Akim and Aquath, we're not going to be able to go inside these grocery stores and buy, you know, different, uh, uh, you know, foods and, you know, uh, groceries that we normally get. You know, to sustain our lives <clears throat> with the Heavenly Father. He, he's not going to have us famished, even though, you know, we won't have full access to grocery stores, man. Some way, somehow, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh he's going to take care of us and we're going to be provided for us and our households, right? So let me grab this. <clears throat> now, uh, what sparked the lesson? Let me grab this scripture right here, Proverbs chapter 10. I'm in the book of Proverbs right now, just reading. So, you know, these scriptures really touched me. It says, a wise. So this is the proverb uh, of King Solomon, right? It says the proverb, I'm going to start from the top. Uh, Proverbs 10 and 1. The proverb of Solomon, a wise a wise son make of a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother, right? So we're the heavenly father's children, you understand? Right? Verse 2, it says, treasures of the wickedness, treasures of wickedness profit profit nothing, but righteousness deliver from death. So your, your righteousness, right, which is given to you, of course, from the heavenly father, because, you know, uh, we all have a measure of faith, you know, it's all predestinated, of course. So we understand that the, the certain measure of faith, if you do believe, is all given as a gift from the Heavenly Father. And you can read that in Ephesians 2 and 8, right? But it says, <clears throat> but righteousness deliver from death. How Adawan will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he cast away the substance of the wicked. So, you know, these, these, these cats out in the world or Jake's, you know, even in the truth that profess themselves to be Israelites, you know, hoarding up all these different worldly treasures and putting your trust in them, they're not going to deliver you. Righteousness delivers from death. What you doing? What are you doing for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? Are you being a, a a wise son? Right? You're gathering and and you know in the um, you know in the in in the, in the summertime, right? Or are you or or are you uh waiting until wintertime to go ahead and gather? You see what I'm saying? All right. We're we're trying to be as the, those those wise sons. Right. It says <clears throat> he become a poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent make it make it rich. So the point is, we're, we're, we're aiming to be diligent. Right. Because if you're if you're being diligent. Right. You know, and, and righteousness, you know, the heavenly father, he's not going to let you perish. He's not going to let you, you know, die from famine. Right. That's a horrible way to go out. Why would the heavenly father suffer a fate, you know, for for a righteous soul? You understand? <clears throat> the first five, it says, he that gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that calls of shame. So this is what we're doing now. We're, we're, we're gathering while it's summertime. You see what I'm saying? Like it says in John 9 and 4, I must work the works of him. That's like, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. You see what I'm saying? The night cometh where no man can work. See, that that that, that night is talking about um, Jacob's trouble, the famine of the word, all those different things. So we're doing what we can now to you know, show forth our righteousness, you know what I mean? So that way we can be delivered from death, right? Because the Heavenly Father says it right here, plain as day, man. This is King Solomon. He says, <clears throat> righteousness de deliver from death, right? It says, uh, verse six, blessings are upon the head of the just. All right, so yeah, that's the point, man. You know, blessings are, are you know, 
<clears throat> are bestowed upon those who are righteous, man, those who are diligent, right? And serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I'm going to go ahead and grab the next one, Proverbs 11 and 29. It says, He that trouble of his own house shall inherit the wind, uh, and the fool shall be uh and the fool and the fool shall be servant to the wise of heart. It says, The fruit of the righteous is as a tree of life, and he that uh, win of souls is wise. Right here, this is what I really want, right here, verse 31. Behold, the righteous shall be rec uh, rec recompensed in the earth, much more uh the wicked in the center. So how it, like you know, that's the old Quaker English, but basically just saying that the righteous is gonna be recompensed for their righteousness much more than the wicked man for his sin. All right, so you're thinking that by your sins and you know uh all the evil you done, you know, all the come ups that you got, that you're gonna profit from that, right? But right uh riches profit not in the day of wrath. You understand? So all that all that other stuff that you're doing, it's it's not it's not gonna uh, uh profit you anything, you understand? <clears throat> Let me grab another precept for y'all. I wanna make this real quick. I'm not gonna try to make it long at all. Just you know, I just felt it on my spirit and I just wanna bring it out. Uh, Psalms chapter 37 and verse 25, it says King David, right? This King David uh, speaking, it says, I have been young and now and old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful and lendeth and his seed is blessed. So, Yahweh Shem Yahweh so if you're, if you're of the elect, Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to take care of you, man. And you see this ever so prevalent throughout the scriptures. You know, when you see Joseph, when you see Elijah, when you see, uh, when you see uh, Moses, you see what I'm saying? Like all the, all, all the great men of renown, you know, Daniel, you know, uh, and the lions that you see all these different men that have went through tribulations and, and the Heavenly Father always provided for them, taking care of them, you know, blessed them, you know. So the same with us when we go through these these, these tribulous times now or, you know, or, or they come, we, we, you know, we, we, we can't have fear in this, man. You know, let me get this for y'all. Um, first Timothy chapter one and verse so like yeah. Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. Second Timothy one and seven it says, "For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind." So far uh, we, you know, in those in, in those uh, times that come, which uh, you know, I'm making this lesson because, you know, uh, I can I can literally see it, man. Right, I'm telling you when that, when when those mandates came out of nowhere, like you know about the Philadelphia restaurants, they literally came out of nowhere. And the same thing is going to happen to it, you know, in, in a city near you. And once they hit them grocery stores, y'all, it's a wrap. You understand? You you know, you can't come in here unless, they, you know, you you have that, 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 that jab. I think they actually instituted that in, like, another country or something like that. Like, I think it was, like, maybe Australia or something like that. But, yeah, it's, it's not far-fetched, you know? Or let's say even if, you know, the mandate, mandates don't come for the grocery stores. And, you know, it's just it's just no food available because of the supply shortage. You're going to have to have faith that the Heavenly Father is going to take care of you, man. It says for for Yahweh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and read it. Second Timothy chapter one, verse seven, for Yahweh have not given us the spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. Right. That's that wisdom, knowledge and understanding that keeps us stable, you know, in, in these tribulous times. Like like it says in Isaiah chapter 33, verse six. <clears throat> go ahead and grab that. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6, it says, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Ha'adawan is his treasure. So we fear Ha'adawan. And what is that? To fear Ha'adawan, right? The fear of the Lord, that's righteousness, man. Because the fear of the Lord, what? That's what? It's to hate evil. You see what I'm saying? Like, like it says in Proverbs 8 and 13, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, arrogancy, and the evil way. And the forward mouth do I hate. That's the fear of Ha'adawan, man. So that's righteousness. So righteousness, like it says in Proverbs, right, uh, uh, deliver from death, man. All right. So we got to continue to uh, be as righteous as possible. Do everything that we can do for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And he's going he's going to he's going to provide for us in our households, man. We got to continue to have that faith. Right. <clears throat> Let me get this for y'all. Last precept. Matt, Matthew 6 and 26. All right. It says, uh, behold, the fowls of the air. For they, uh, for they sow not, so they're not, they're not planting, they're not farming, neither do they reap, so they're not, they're not gathering up, right? They don't do none of that, nor gather into barns, so they're not gathering food or storing for a, a food up in barns and whatnot, right? The fowls of the air, so the, so the birds, right? It says, yet your he heavenly Father feed of them, so they're not stocking up nothing for real, for real. Now, this is not saying that, you know, brothers are saying, like, you don't have to, but I'm saying, like, you know, if you got it, go ahead, you know, stack up a little something, you never know. 
right? A prudent man, a prudent man foreseeth the coming, even when he hideth himself. Now, of course, we're hiding ourselves in, you know, in, in, in righteousness, you know, in our in our works and in our faith for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But also, you know, what I mean, if you got a little, you know, carnal riches or whatever, go ahead and stock something up. You know, nothing crazy, but don't put your heart there, right? <clears throat> it says, so let me keep going. It says, yet your heavenly Father feed of them, are ye not much better than they? Right, so, so, so the point is, man, the Heavenly Father feeds the, the fowls of the air. He's going to feed you as long as you are righteous, man. You see what I'm saying? You're doing the will of the Heavenly Father, right? You're you're, you're working on the behalf of, of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua on the right hand side and doing the things that are, um, that are pleasing unto Him. He's going to take care of you, man. So look, man, um, I hope that you, Akim and Akwath, were edified, you know, exhorted and comforted. Um, Give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Harak Hakwadash. Shalom to all you sincere hearted Akim and Akwath. Shalom.